Jajowski out across the line and it is two wins in a row for the North Macedonian. Hello everyone, Homa here and we are going for round three of the Formula E Accelerate Championship. We have got Aaron Jajowski, leader of the championship, won the last two races and Risto Capet doing a great job as well for Neo. Uh, racing team. So today I'm going to talk about uh, we in Berlin um, and I'm going to talk you through a lap and uh, car balance, understeer, oversteer. You know, we always hear drivers talking about understeer and oversteer, but uh, obviously sometimes it's a bit difficult to understand exactly what it means. So I'm going to try to explain to you what it is right now. So here we go, turn two, and you see I put a lot of steering lock and the front end doesn't really want to turn. So this is understeer. Um, here we go again, you know, struggling to get the car to turn. And understeer is never really fast because you're positioning the car on exit, uh, not the way you should. Uh, now we're going to try to get some oversteer. Oh yeah, here it is, you see? There were very little uh, steering angle, meaning the rear end wanted to snap. And that's called oversteer. And it's actually much more efficient. Um, there we go, oversteer. And I've got to understeer. To avoid the rear just a uh, spin um, so wh when you drive the car it's really trying to find the right balance between the understeer that i picked up here a little bit too much and also the oversteer and having to lift off the throttle on exit oh uh, that was far too much oversteer so you've seen you can play with the brake uh, application if you brake really hard and you lock the front wheel then you're gonna have understeer if you release the brake and then you get the, the rear axle a little bit uh, lighter, then you're going to suffer with um, more um, oversteer. So the, the key really when you drive a racing car is to find the right balance. You see, missed it here uh, because I, I, I released the brake too much and carried too much speed into the corner, meaning that the rear end was very light and spun around. I hope my uh, explanation on oversteer and understeer were clear. And now I guess the best is that I'll let you go on a lap with Eran Jadowski, that is the master of Formula E. And uh, yeah, I think you can uh, enjoy and learn if you're racing Formula E at home. Hello, everybody. I'm Eran Jadowski. I'm a driver for the RAG Esports Sim Racing team. And today I'm going to take you around the circuit of Berlin in the Formula E Gen 2 car. And I hope you enjoy. So here we are for the start of our lap. We want to maximize our exit through the last corner. So we take a nice and wide line. For turn one, we break at 100 and try to stay as tight as possible for the next couple of corners. The next one we break after 50. It seemed a bit slow that we are trying to maximize our exit with this long straight. For the next hairpin we break at 100. I try to clip the apex. That was... I overdid it a bit. Not bad. The next one is really tricky because it's really bumpy. You can lose the car if you enter too fast. This one and we break after 100. We hug the apex of the hairpin. A bit oversteer on the exit, but nothing too dramatic. This one is tricky too. We need to break a bit earlier than expected because the car can oversteer on us. And here we go to the line. That's a lap around Berlin, and I hope you like it.